So welcome students. So in this question you are given that alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. You are asked to find this limit. 1 minus cos of something by x minus alpha whole square. So we know that if alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c, ax square plus bx plus c can be written as a times x minus alpha into x minus beta. This comes in the theory of quadratic equations. Now, so this limit can be written as limit extends to alpha. 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 that is ax square plus bx plus c by 2 by x minus alpha whole square. So now, as x tends to alpha, this whole term goes to 0, right? This whole term goes to 0 because alpha is a root of this equation. So something tends to 0, sign something by same thing is equal to 1. So what I do is, I'll divide this with ax square plus bx plus c by 2 whole square because there are two signs I need to divide this with ax square plus bx plus c by 2 whole square. So if I divide this, I also has to multiply this, right? So, ax square plus bx plus c by 2 whole square, right? So, ax square plus bx plus c by 2 whole square. I am dividing and multiplying. Now, this becomes equal to 1 because sin ax square plus bx plus c by 2, this tends to 0, this also tends to 0, cancel out. That is equal to limit x tends to infinity. Now, 2 times, now what I do is, ax square plus bx plus c can be written as this. So I can take it as a square times x minus alpha whole square into x minus beta whole square by 4 times x minus alpha whole square. So x tends to alpha, right? x tends to alpha, these two gets cancelled. That is equal to a square by 2 times alpha minus beta whole square. I just need to, once x minus alpha gets cancelled, the indeterminacy gets cancelled. So you just need to do the direct substitution. A square into alpha minus beta whole square by 2. That's the answer to this question. Thank you.